Good afternoon, my friends. Good afternoon, good afternoon, I good miss afternoon. You Monday. No worries, sweetie. Okay, before we start the show, let me see the same. Listen to this. Okay. Your you know, favorite right. thing. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I okay, need sorry, that I know. On. Good. Don't worry about it. You look great. I love my you look great. Uh, you look beautiful, yeah. I love it too. Come on. Anyway. I like that one. I like oh, that. Jesus. I wore it just for you today. I know you did. That's so why I, I, bust I, your I balls. put it next to me. I wanted it closer <laughs> to me. That was what I wanted. Uh, so, all right, I want to vote out there. Text in if you like no, don't, don't it. Even, like don't, it okay? You know what? I won't even respond. Yeah. Don't even do it. Don't even do it. <laughs> well, don't how are you, honey? Good, good, it's beautiful good. out on? today. Yesterday yeah. it snowed. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't believe that. It's unbelievable. I was hopping in the shower, and I said, I thought it was, I thought it was raining. And I see it's snowing. I'm like, oh. And okay. I, you know, I get nervous in the snow, so my very dear Mr. P uh. drove me to the hotel where I was meeting you right. for that mm -hmm. nice luncheon that you took yeah. us to. Ooh, nice. It was a great we luncheon. We went to a beautiful really event at the Garden City Hotel. Oh, nice. Yeah. With the Kiwanis. And really yeah, it was special. great. It was a great event. Um, it's the St. Patty's Day. Mm hmm brunch yeah. in the Garden City Kiwanis hosted and all the politicians everybody was there corned beef and cabbage and I gotta tell you it was it was it pretty was good this good. year and, I, yes. and, I, and I'm really picky on the corned beef I don't eat it that that, that often but mm -hmm. it um it, it wasn't too bad it really was I, I gotta give it credit I gotta give it credit and uh, you know good. the hotel they all know me there because when I had the big job I used to do a lot there yeah, yeah. so when everybody I walk in that. there everybody. I'm just like treated like a goddess she's, she's lo she loves that and though. I love she it loves as that. you should right <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> well it brings back a yep. lot of old memories when I work you know with them right because I worked with the former owners oh, of the hotel okay. because I worked in a corporation big corporate nice and they did a lot there so nice. It's, yeah. a, it's always a fun day. And then I have Greg on my side. You know, what's Look, better you know, than I, that? I swear to you, she's, no joke, she's like a pimp. Ooh. And I say it all the time. All right. She does. She pimps me out. She does. I swear to you. Everybody knows it. So and you seem like, to just, like it because you don't yeah, go yeah. anywhere. No, she's just like, like, I'm not holding out. I'm I not holding it. out. Please, Eddie, okay? I'm not. I love you know it. what I mean? So, I so it. you know. So, uh, and then he knows so many people, too. So. But just mm -hmm. like when we go to something mm -hmm. like that, we don't even talk to each other. Much. Yeah, that's right. And then we see each other on the way out. Mm -hmm. So it was very nice. Yeah. They did a beautiful job. Yeah. If you ever need anything, I w we know them there. So. Okay. Sounds so great. we have this lovely, lovely Asia, the continent, but you're also called Asia the Million. Asia the Million or Asia the Continent. <laughs> yeah. It's and Asia the Continent Million. Okay, right? so but it's not million, it's million. 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 Okay. Okay, so I like that. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. I don't mean to cut that off, but do you know? Like when when Flo Rida came out, okay, this he's a rapper, Flo, mm -hmm. Flo Rida, and um, I was like Flo Rida, I was like I like that Flo Rida, but you know what? It's Florida. Right. There we go. Flo Rida. Oh. You know, and I was like, whoa, I, I love that. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I, look, I started listening to him even more, even more. just because of that. Right. You know, to you know being well, unique so like that. Millie, you know what I mean? So my last so explain. Name is Miller. Oh. So Millie, I go, I, I always say that I'm on a mill, meaning I'm a miller. I'm a miller, you know, oh. I'm on a mill, but you know, play, pun intended. Millie, so you have that's a story. Goal, I mean, know? obviously you have a story with everything, but yeah. the name alone made you because it's all about the name, oh. you know, just when you do business, when you do personal, when you do singing, whatever, mm -hmm. performing. Yeah. And it stands out. Yes, thank you. So I appreciate it's it. A, mm -hmm. That was a good marketing move on your side. I don't know if you came up with it or someone else I did. did. I did, so I did, yeah. yeah so you're so very creative, She's obviously. very creative. That right. You can that's see so right. that's what I was saying. I'm, I'm, you can I'm see that. more of a creative than a performer. Yeah. I'm a creative, you know. But I, I like heard some of your music, and you do sing beautifully. Uh -huh. Thank nah, you. she's all right. So all right. She's all right. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, all right. yeah. She's all right. <laughs> the other day, she sent me things on my text, and I didn't really know what you the know, hell I'm she was teasing. sending me. And I, I, sent, I sounded kind of silly. So she, I said, just, Luna, so tell me about it. So she goes, well... I'll just send it to you. And then I realized her song. And I realized <laughs> who it is. And I was like, oh, my God. I'm, I didn't mean to offend you that way because I didn't know. But, you, right. didn't you know, I'm kind of old. So I find out these. I, I'm learning. But, you know, when you get old, you, you know, it's funny kids got to keep thought, you informed. <laughs> I thought you knew what I did, which is why you wanted to have me here. So right. that means that. You must have seen something. Yes. Well, they other do. Other than that, so I, you know, I, I you know really appreciate Look, that. Look, she only gets a bit, bits and pieces of something. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's good enough for her. And then, right. then she does homework. She yes. does. No, it's something true. has to attract her about something, someone, right. or something. Mm -hmm. And it really was meeting you in you know? the salon. Mm -hmm. It was and then your we name. Had the book. We had and the then book the book in common. common. And yeah. then I'm like, this is it. And then I find out you live in my town. Yeah. 
Hello? Yeah, like, don't give me your phone number, but it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> so it really was great. It was meant to be. It was. I concur. So now, yeah. when did you start, you know, what you, you know, you're creating, like, with the <sighs> music? Um, I think I, I was singing and playing around with my voice before I could even speak. Meaning, are like, I would, those, I would are hear... Really, are you you know, listen, and be, and I'm a, because I would hear commercials, right? Remember, I don't know if you guys remember, remember the Home Depot? I can, far, as far back as I can remember, there was a commercial, and it was Home Depot, Home Depot. And I used to go, Home Depot, <laughs> Depot. Like, I would just really? play around. Like, I would listen to sounds and right. try to imitate. Mimic, right. Yeah. So I, I remember doing that before I was speaking. So I think... Um, I didn't realize that I could sing. I just knew that I liked sounds and stuff like that. And one day, my brother, one day, I remember when En Vogue came out, um, Hold On, right? So that song came out, and I was like, I'm, I think I could do that, but I wasn't sure. So I, you remember the little radios that you had where you could right, hit record? Right, right. I recorded yes. myself to listen back to see if I sounded good. And I kept listening to it. And at that point was when I felt like I wanted to perfect my craft because mm -hmm. I thought I sounded horrible. But I fell asleep, and my brother wakes me up at 3 o'clock in the morning, and he's like, is that you? And he made me come downstairs oh, and wow. sing for all of his friends. Aww. Mind you, my brother um, was really good friends with a tribe called Quest. So he was a DJ. So he, oh, you oh, know, Q-tip and Fire in, the in right, my right, basement, right. you know, messing around with the equipment right. and everything like that. So he used to make me come downstairs and, and sing. And I was like, you know, he was like, I didn't know you can sing. I was like, well, I, I, didn't, I didn't either, but I guess, you know, <laughs> right. I guess and I can that's how now. it all started. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And you just kept going and going and going. Mm -hmm. So were you raised some in New York or were you I raised was, somewhere else? I was, I was born and raised in Queens. Okay, so you've been long a New Yorker for a long time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nothing like it, right? Nothing like it. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. That's true. But you go to Atlanta a lot, right? I did move to Atlanta for about a year. You didn't and like then it? I still have. Um, I wouldn't say I don't like it, but. Um, I got to tell you, it's a little different. It is different. And I still have situations out there. So I go, you know, back and forth out there, you know, when I need to. But um, definitely New York is more my speed. Yeah. There's nothing like it. Yeah. I mean, even Long Island, you know. Yeah. Do you know how to say Long Island? Long you say Island. It? Long you say Island. it. You, Long you have Island. to say it like that. Long Island. Long Island. Yes. Long Island, okay. Yeah. That's the way you say Long Island because okay. it's like a Long Island thing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know about yeah. that. But yeah. okay. Well, they I'll, didn't I'll give I'll me try. the job though. I went to be. Did the, I do it okay? Yes. Okay. But see, <laughs> I went to be the voice of Long Island, but I didn't get it. Right. Okay. Well, listen. But that's hey, okay. We we have. Listen, your voice. You, oh, you have her a voice is wonderful. Yeah, you have I a beautiful voice. I love her voice. Beautiful <laughs> I'd love to energy. Wake up to that. I would so love to wake up to that every morning. <laughs> I'm uh, calm in the morning. To that. Yeah. Look at, look at. I really mm -hmm. am calm in the morning. Yeah. yeah. We, went to, we went to the diner in Malvern today, Mr. P and I, and the waitress there has a, a crashing voice in the morning, right. and it was bothering him. You know, nothing bothers him. He goes, <laughs> I couldn't deal with that. I'm like, I'm calm in the morning, right? He goes, yes, you are. I like quiet in the morning. I'm quiet with him in the morning. Believe it or not. Are you really? Yes. He's, so he brings out I other things in me yeah. that I, okay. people don't know about me. Yeah, really? <laughs> okay. All right, <laughs> we'll have to go there. He's a <laughs> dog. <laughs> He's my new okay. friend, and I've been talk about it. You know, we don't have to. One year. No, we don't have to. She, she, no, she's going to get old. Okay. Now, one year. She'll start taking off her clothes in a minute. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. You, you don't know. He's hey. a great guy. And, uh, no, he did is, we do he's cheers? He's yeah, we're doing no, we that now. Did we do cheers? You guys were knocking this out already. Cheers. To you, to you. Yes, thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you. We're going to do a lot of good things. Absolutely. So, when did you write your first book? So, the first book I wrote in 2015. Um. And that was, I think I was, I was coming out of a depression. Um, Similar. Yeah. <laughs> separated from, you know, my husband that I was married to for years. You know, I knew him when I was 18. So when you're doing a oh, breakup wow. like that, yeah, it's like, rough. woo. You know, so you got to figure out who am I going to become now? Yep. How is my world going to be now? You know, so I, 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 um, I wrote the book. Um, Specifically, as therapy, yeah. Because as far back as even you know, not only did I sing, um, I would write. I have a crate full of notebooks really? from high school. I would write 
on my notebook, like you do the heading yes. in school. So I would write mood, song of the day, time. Yeah, oh, wow. because whatever I felt like, I would listen to that song. But see, you're a lot of material in case you want to write a Oh, yeah. Books. Oh, my gosh. I have so a you great... Mm -hmm. I mean, you can really put something together like like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, it, no, no, no. sometimes I mean, it could take I mean, some, ten minutes. Yes, sometimes it could take ten days. Because yeah. sometimes I, you, you know, I want to know yeah. how I how I really feel, and I don't just want to write anything. I, right, I want right. to really see how I feel. But um, so I wrote the book thinking, you know, I I want to get it out my system. Because right. I have a lot going on that I don't talk about. I'm always wanting to work, always wanting to do this, always wanting to do that. So it's like I just I blocked out a full year. No, it was it was about nine months. I didn't do anything. I didn't work with I anyone. I didn't do anything, you know. So I, I wrote the book and um and yeah, it actually was the best therapy that I've had. I tell people that all the time. Because really? it gets you through. See, you know what? It's like you guys are just mentioning that, well, you write things down like you created a great book. Yes, thank you. <laughs> you write things down and you do songs, you know? Sometimes I, I, I try doing a diary, and when I start writing, I get aggravated. Mm. You see? Because it's like, it just, I'm rehashing, I'm reliving. Exactly. You know what it, I mean? But you're dealing with yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, you're dealing so with that's yourself. why, like I said, sometimes people always say, get it off your chest, get it off your chest. Well, you know, it doesn't It doesn't come off my chest because after I finished mm. talking to you about it, now I'm really pissed off. Right, got it. And now I just rehashed everything that was not. But so, then that you know means, what? just to, no, no, if no, I not, may, no, right? No, please, please. That means that you didn't fully heal. Get right. out oh, of no, no, right. no, 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 100%. Get over it. You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah, because 100%. a lot of times when we start to feel those feelings, we create distractions, and then we want to go do this, and right. we want to go do that. Yeah, so you run away. You run away. And I didn't run away. I wanted to I wanted to feel everything so that I could get over it and right. be happy. It's true. And not only that, you're more passionate when you're mad. You write better That's when you're mad. That's why I didn't mad. communicate with anyone. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't communicate. Like, anyone that called me and wanted to go hang out, you know, I was like, mm, now is not a good time. Because, yeah, I don't, I, I don't want to take it out on anyone. I wanted, it was me against me. It was me against myself. So I, I can relate, and I've felt a lot of ways. Sometimes, you know, I, I would go back and think about the times where I found pills in my husband's um, pocket, and I'm like, what are these? Right. And I have to relive that, and I'm getting angry, and I want to call. But I'm like, I don't. I, I, I already, I already there, grieved that. Why would I want right. to do it again, right? right? right. So right. I want to get it out. And, you know, as I'm writing, I'm like, listen, my story is pretty much every woman's story. Well, everybody. What woman story. doesn't go through hurt? Bullshit. What woman doesn't go through right? Okay, cool. We could curse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you curse. I was trying. <laughs> you definitely curse. <laughs> There's no Doing bleep just about here. everything yeah, on I'm this no show. Bleep bleeps here. Um, but yeah, so you know, we we I I I I felt like, you know, the type of person that I am, it was like, okay, I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, right? Well, I, I, that's pretty <laughs> right? nice, yeah. But, but you do, though. People, and not but, you do per se, but... You know, but my story happen. is my story. Right, right exactly. Right? It will you happen know, eventually yeah. anyway. Um, yeah. You know, so the intention wasn't to throw anyone under the bus. The intention is to say, you know what? A lot of people, right? But I'm going to specify women in my case because I'm a woman, right. right? So a lot of women have stories that they feel like they have to hide. Or That's they, they very feel true. like they don't have a voice. That's very I mean, true. and even when you get deeper into a situation where years later, when a woman claims that she was raped or sexually abused, and then the guy's like, What? You never said that. And right, 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 sometimes right, a right. woman doesn't feel like they have a voice. So right. even in that moment when he wants to have sex with her, right. he wants to, but she's like, Oh my gosh, like right. if I say no, what's gonna happen? Or what's right. gonna happen if they right. so she feels silent, and she becomes victimized. That's true. It's an, even that way in business. Sometimes you're silenced. Yeah. You're not but she really talk. didn't want to. Right. She just didn't okay, know how why, to say okay, no. That, but say, you know what? That's why sometimes, you know, I always believe in talk. Talk, talk, mm -hmm. talk. You know what? Certain things, you can see why certain people act a certain way. Right. You know, from whether it's their background. Like, there's a lot of things I don't let go. I'm mm -hmm. the first one to tell you that. Yeah. Right, I right, just right, keep right. it in. Yeah. That's, so that's the look, cancer. But, the that's that is, cancer. Anyway, but that's the truth. So mm -hmm. I've had people say, oh, no, but you need to whatever. It, 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 
they say you forgive, you know, you, you forget, you forget. You, listen, you forgive, forget. you're yeah. never going to forget. I'm sorry, yeah. you're right. human. You will right. not listen, forget. I you said won't you forgive, forget. Mm -hmm. you can forgive the person did this to you or the person said something mm -hmm. about you, whatever it is, and you're like, all right, the person was mad when they said it. All right, you forgive them because they were mad, but it doesn't make it right, mm -mm. right? It doesn't make it right, no matter mm -mm. whatever it is. So for me, I have tons of, say, I don't know, I don't want to say animosity. Well, yeah, I, animosity, it, it, it hurt, be, call it whatever anger, the truth is. whatever, the whatever. Truth is the truth. Yeah, whatever so, you want sets you free. So, right, yeah, whatever that, you yeah, want to call it. No, no, that doesn't set you, that's just, <laughs> The hell that shit sets That's you my free. statement. The yeah, truth that, that, sets yeah, you free. Set you I think free. I like think it set you, <laughs> No. Man. Greg, I do I want to I want to I want to agree. It, because the truth does set you free. Because once you let it okay, once right, you okay. deal with it okay. and you fully deal with right. it, it's out of your system and okay. then you're free. Okay, now wait but a if you're not free, you're not really dealing with okay, it. Okay, you're okay, running away. You. So wait. We're going to just use we're going to have to get the details but your ex. Mhm. Mm Are you over? I mean, Absolutely, one hundred percent. So you feel comfortable with that, right? Yes. And, and you're, you're solid about that for sure, right? Absolutely. Okay, but if you are solid about it, mm -hmm. you still wouldn't say negative things about it. No, I mean right? not anymore. You understand? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm at that point. Okay, where okay, I, okay. I'm well, not no, 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 no. Yeah. Saying, even though you're, 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 like I said, you're right, and, and this is what everybody does. It's mm -hmm. like, regardless of what he did to you, what you found in his pocket, whatever, just a little whatever. You're not really fully over it, even though you think you are. Where I mean, you're, you're in a better place, I believe, mm -hmm. a much better place. But you're never gonna forget one of those bad times. It's just really, really hard to. And the only thing I always say is, why does everybody have to focus on? Look, you're with someone for whatever amount of years, mm -hmm. and I just look at it this way: male or female, doesn't matter. You know, at the end when it's bad, right? Stay together ten years, whatever it is. Now the last year it's over with, you're fighting like cats and dogs. And but you had nine good years though. Absolutely. And you know what the funny thing is? Mm -hmm. You'll never hear male or female ever talk about, well, you know, we did have good times. I can talk you about know. it. No, no, no. You can't know, but because <laughs> you know but, you when you're fully you understand open, what I'm you know, saying? No, no, I, but you I understand what I'm saying. saying. It's okay. Yeah. I don't mean for you. I don't mean per se you. Mm -hmm. It's just people in, in general. general. When they turn around, they're like, oh, you know what? He was this, he was that, or she was this, she was that. But you know what? Something you must have found that, that so good, good about that guy right. that you married him Absolutely. or you were boyfriends Absolutely. with him for whatever it is. But, but now all of a sudden he's garbage. You hate him. He well, says, or oh, hate her or whatever it is. Well, that's you know the whole, mean? yeah, because, well, the whole perception. So for me, I was with him for four years before I found anything. He didn't even look at another woman while we were out in public. Beautiful woman. I mean, that I would look at and be like, wow, right. she's gorgeous. <laughs> You know what I mean? But right, and right. he would not do it. He just wouldn't do it. So after so four I made years, him do it though. well, he was he's he's in the industry. Okay, all right. Okay. Right. So all he right, so goes right. on a yeah, roll. Yeah. So they they come to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, he doesn't have to do anything. He doesn't have to magnet. do all his that's show up. Right? That's, that's like him being he's a magnet. A magnet. Yep. Correct. So um so after the four years of me seeing him in one way, and the reason why I married him was because. Any guy that I've ever dealt with always had some other woman. It was always, whether it was an ex, whether it was somebody that he was communicating with, right. he had absolutely nobody. And he was totally. Like free. Kind I of just like saw him like this pure guy. Like, you're so like. Now, how old was he? And how old were you at that time? I was 18 and he was 21. Okay, all right. But he was so focused on his music career. So that was everything. That that was. <laughs> right, right. That so was like, you like that drive. Mm -hmm. You, you yeah. like that. You saw what, yeah. Yeah, okay. and, right. I, and, I, and I got it. So, you know. Even when I when I caught in that situation after I, I caught that cheat, right? right? It was very hurtful. And I I hurt and I didn't want to, you know, I went through what I went through. But even in that process, I understood as a human being and as a friend, I forgave him and I still supported him because I know that that come that came with the territory with right. him with his dream. Um, but as his woman I just didn't see him the same. He right. wasn't the, the perfect guy that right, I thought. Right. right. So now I had to fall out of love with him. Damn. And I fell in love with him in a whole different way. That's now a, I'm falling in love with someone yeah, who's no imperfect. Joke, see, but right. I've accepted that, that nobody's perfect. So I actually took ownership in a sense of I fell in love with someone that I thought was perfect, and perfect doesn't even exist. No, right. there's no perfect couple. It's right. a bunch of bullshit. It's just, just right. but I thought right. that. I, but right. the way he moved with me, I thought that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, he was he, that smooth. Well, he was smooth. He was smooth. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so in in um, 
in refalling in, in love, I felt like the second time that I fell in love with him, it was more realistic because now I understand. Well, because you knew all the secrets. Now I understand mm. what understand, what's right, really right, going right, on. Right, right. Right? So I, I definitely forgave him. And I could tell that he was sorry. Anything that a man could do to of fix course. it, he yeah. did. Oh, Some people make you feel like you're going crazy. Like, what are you right, talking about? Like, yeah. You could catch yeah, somebody listen, cheating and then they'll listen, say listen, it wasn't listen, me. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> there was this, there was this, listen, I, I remember there was this, uh, it was like a black and white film, and I don't remember the name, but I, I remember the woman walks in. Mm -hmm. The guy's laying on the bed. A woman's in the bed with him, right? The woman goes, I feel Harry, whatever his name was, Harry, how could you do this to me? He goes, baby, what's the matter? What's wrong with you? Right? The other woman gets up, grabs her clothes, and then she just runs out, and she's screaming at him. Now, he just gets up. He starts getting dressed. She's screaming, how could you do that? That other woman, he goes, what woman are you talking about? And she starts screaming. I can't believe after all these years, this is what you... And he's like, baby, what are you talking about? What woman? And he's getting dressed, fully dressed. Wow. He finally gets fully dressed, and he's telling her, baby, what's wrong with you? Come on, baby, what's the matter? There's no woman. He's like, the woman just ran. He's like, what woman? By the time he was finished, the woman was questioning herself, like, was I imagining it? Mm. Okay, look, 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 mm. right? That, that, listen. That was crazy, you but you that? needed to see that. Right. And I was like, oh, my God. But, I mean, it, 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 like I said, it was no movie, but I don't know if that would work today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think there'd be a lot, lot of things thrown and knives thrown and all kinds I of mean, things I mean, you know, they, they definitely still try it today. And I think it, it does work in a lot of cases today, but, Well, so you, you know. got through it. You wrote your book. How was his reaction to you writing the book? And obviously, he, he was a part of it. Um. No, no reaction on that. He did, he, he, there was really no, like when we speak, we don't right. even talk about oh, okay. that. We okay. don't talk about the arts. We don't even, we have um, kids together. So I, right. oh, you do. So you just, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's nice. Yeah. He's the father of both of my kids. So it's like now we, we're talking okay. about how we're going to, you know, everything is about the kids. kids how we're going to, yeah. how we're going to raise them. Which is that's great. Good. When I fill them up and get them ready for their right. lives, right? So yeah. it's, the, it, you know, we're not selfish to where we, so you became friends. Pointing fingers and stuff like that. Yeah, well, we, yeah, we went there. That. We yeah, went there, but yeah, we're past yeah, it. You know? right. that's, it takes time. We passed yeah. it, yeah. So uh, the book was published uh, on your own or through someone? It was self-published with Author House. Author House, yeah. okay. And then you started to do more uh, different kind of roles on your own in your business? And yeah, you so after doing? I did that, um, I used that book kind of sort of as like a business card. Right, mm -hmm. well, that's you what know? you do. I put mm -hmm. it out just so that... You know, I wasn't thinking of, ah, uh, I'm going to make millions off of this. No, you don't make millions right. off of this. Right? So, uh, yeah. So, but not, you know, some people think, you know. Yeah. Well, but yeah, they're <laughs> in denial, though. Stephen King. Right? They're in denial, yeah. You know what I mean? Right? I mean, you know. But for me, I was thinking, you know, um, a lot of people know that I sing. A lot of people know, you know, that I that I write music. and But they don't know my story. And so, yeah, I just wanted to kind of like reintroduce myself to That's people. That's great. I love what you're doing because I did the same thing you know, in different ways. Yeah. And uh, I found that the book really changed my life. The second mm. book. Mm -hmm. First book was uh, more emotional. Oh, second you have book, two books too? Yes, I'm going to give you them on the way out. I have that one. Oh, you don't but have I the little one? I didn't know about the other one. Yeah, I'll give you the little one. Okay. It's a true story. Okay. And everything that happened to me happened from job loss mm. because I'm a busy lady. And, and when I lost exactly the job. She had a lot of people that she was pimping out. Like mm. I told you, that's what the first book is about. <laughs> mm. Really? All right. What's how to live in real. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> how to be a good it's pimp. It's about me and my best friend. Wait, what's a female? Of, a pimp, it was a name I heard about. Pimpess. Pimpess? Pimpess. A pimp. I'm so pimp. Yeah, a pimp. A pimp. Whatever it is. I'm so I used to be on the Catherine Channel with Father Tom Hartman. Oh, we would do good together. Yeah. Yeah. We can pimp some. Catherine Channel. You know what they were doing. Father Tom Hartman. Ooh, I like it. And when I went to interview at the channel for that little gig that I was doing with him, I held a prayer book the whole time in the waiting room. And it started melting. And then my girlfriends were calling me. I'm going, hold up your prayer book. What do you think? They go, okay. Keep holding it. And they were laughing because, you know, I'm. I'm not a square, but you know. Far from holy. <laughs> I did do it though. I did it for a few weeks, and it's it was good, fun. Good. Yeah. Nice. So I get what you're saying. Um, I Greg has met many authors on this show, and yeah. he will be writing a book soon because I'm not going to leave him alone. Yeah. No, I got. I I have this recorder in the car, and I I, I have a lot of things on there. Like I'll, if, if I think of something, I'll just mention it, mm. and then I put it back down. But then again, I keep saying, who wants to listen to my stories? 
I don't know. Everybody I mean, does. It, it, people love to read. It's crazy. You know. Don't get me wrong. It's a little crazy life, but a lot of people have a crazy life. So exactly. what's different from mine versus, you know what well, I mean? Well, that's the thing. That's the thing. The thing is sometimes it's about what connects. It's the same as yeah. having yeah, somebody, somebody feeling somebody, like right, somebody right. is going, I'm not the only one. Through, right. I'm going through yeah, it. Yeah, it's right. a lot of camaraderie. Right. A lot of camaraderie. I mean, the only thing that would be different is... You know, your situ- how you tell your story or, right. you know. Um, well, you have to be careful. I mean, you know. You know. It sounds yeah. like you didn't let any barriers hold you back. Not from what you're saying. No, I'm good, human. Yeah. But they yeah. came, you know, you see barriers and then, you know. Oh, everywhere. Take a <laughs> chill pill and figure out, how am I going to get around this right here, you know? Yes. And then and you sometimes, you know, so this is like, like for, for, for you, like, I would, uh, if I if I see a barrier, like I'm, I'm on, the way that I vision life, it's like a track. So you're always supposed to keep moving forward, right, right? Right. So if I see a barrier or a hurdle or whatever we want to call it, if it's you know it's short enough for me to jump over, I'm going to jump over. But if not, and it looks really big, and I'm like, how am I going to get around this? Right. I sit there, and sometimes I strategize and, and I'm figure like, it out. And then sometimes I get to a point where what I don't do I think I can for? ever. Right. No, 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 no. I'm sometimes I get to a point where I, I'm like, I don't think I can ever get around this. Right. Is life over? Yeah. Is it time? Like, should I just jump off a cliff? Like, what's happening? Like, I see no way out, right? Yeah. So at that point is when I sit there. I'm spiritual, so I'll pray. Yes. Right. And I'll pray, and I'm, I'm sitting here watching this thing like, it's too high, can't get over it, too low, can't get under it, too wide, Gotta I can't get around it, it right? right? <laughs> How, what's going to happen? And, you know, I'll sit there, I'll cry, do what I got to do. I don't know, maybe have extra wine, but I'm feeling my feelings, you know? I'm feeling what I'm feeling, and I'm dealing with it, and I'm hurting, and I'm feeling it, and I wake up, and I'll drink my water. In the morning, I'm healthy. You know, you know right, I have my right, lemon right, water right. in the morning, yeah. you know, my wine at night. There you go. Yeah, um, doesn't everybody? <laughs> and, then, and then, you know, but I, I stay the course, and before you know it, it's like shifting. And then all of a sudden, I, I'm like, I see a light. And then it's like, it's like, oh, okay, I see the road again. Then right. I just, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so these things the are there, again, but right. just mm-hmm. like the world rotates, right. that thing, it, sometimes we want to tear it down and we want to beat it down. And, right. But if we just be patient, because it's our time to rest, it shifts. Right, and everything happens for a reason. There's yeah. a reason for everything. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. tell us about your relationship with Mary Blige. So, okay, so... Mary had a studio in uh, in Manhattan, in the city. And at that studio, she had a whole lot of creatives, producers, songwriters, one of them which was her brother, Brucey. So I would go to the studio, and we would just write songs. Um, you know, when she, she would come in, when she, when she was here in New York, come in, say hi, and then hear what songs are created. Like, let me hear what you guys got, because she's always trying to figure out what's going to be the next song. So, um, you know, we, we, we just, we, we, we were in that studio probably for about a good, I want to say four or five, six months, just writing every night, all night, and then go home, take a shower, deal with the kids, send them to school, then go back and just work. Um, so that, that was that. And then there was one day, um, you know, that Brucey, her brother, called, called me and my other creative buddy, who is not here anymore, rest in peace. She passed away um, in 2020. Um, but, um, you know, so he called us and he said, Dr. Dre sent some music to the studio and, um, Mary can't get to the studio right now to write. So he, she asked me to go write. Wow, so I need you guys to great. come <laughs> help me write. And we were like, we're on our way, you yeah. know? <laughs> so we, we, we wrote, we, you know, we, we were going through, he had a, a good amount of tracks and we were going through each one. And then as soon as we heard the. Dun, 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 dun. We were like, yeah. let's stay here, you know? So we, we actually, we sat there and we created the song. And, um, um, you know, he let her hear it. And the very next day, her manager called and said, That's you know, it. let's That's go to the quad. Yeah, she likes the song. Because we recorded it. It was in our voice. You know, we lay it down and we record our idea, which is called the demo. Okay. Um, or mm-hmm. the reference. And she has to hear it. You know, that's the only way that the artist would know if they like the song or not. Right. It has to be Interest. recorded. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, so we, we, we met at the Quad Studio, Times Square, New York. And um, 
you know, the first thing she said, <laughs> she was like, yo, this shit is hot. Right. You sound like y'all having a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, you know, so she recorded it. And um and it was then you know the rest is history. Wow, That's great. we don't have a personal relationship, right, but it was right, it was right. business. You know, yes. we, I I wrote I co wrote something. You, thank you. And she You're heard it, and she like and that. she and she sold it. You know what I mean? And so now you received a, a nomination, a Grammy. Not we were nominated for a Grammy. We didn't win, but, but you that's know, amazing. We were, we, were, we were nominated. Yeah. That we gotta say to you. Get, yeah. Come on, come you can go. take a bigger sip. You can take a bigger sip. Come on. <laughs> Yes. You can tell she's getting ready to finish us already. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I like, oh, I got to catch yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> so that is some accomplishment. <laughs> so after you do that, what, you know, what do you say, well, what's next? Well, at that time, a lot of work was coming in. You know, I started writing songs for other um, artists. And um, I actually started my own um, publishing company and, and um, artist development company. So I was doing a lot of vocal coaching, a lot of That's artist terrific. development. Mm -hmm. um, um you know, I have songs out there, too, that are on, you know, album cuts and, you mm -hmm. know, soundtracks and stuff like that. So, yeah, it, it brought great. in a lot of work. It brought in, it brought in a lot That's of work. That's terrific. Now you have a second book. <clears throat> yes. And um, you didn't bring it today yet, right? I actually yeah. do have it. Yeah. I and what is it. the name of the second book? So the second book is Dreams, Love, and Music. And then the subtitle is Lifestyle Revised. So the first one is Dreams, Love, and Music. But the subtitle is Dream Your Life then live your dreams, which is what I was right, talking about. You right. got to dream it first. Right. And then, then you once get you get that it. vision, then you go right. go after it. This one is lifestyle revised because I felt like in the first book, me trying to spare other, you know, other people, I, I didn't want to put too much out there. Right. Mm -hmm. So some of the feedback that I got from the first book was, when you shared this story, I want to know more, like what happened here and da-da-da-da. So I was going to revise it. And so this time around, I'm, I'm writing and I'm revising it. And as I'm revising it, I'm again, I'm shifting. I'm revising my lifestyle. Okay. So instead of calling right. the book a revised version, I called it Lifestyle Revised. Because you have a new life. Absolutely. I became a whole new woman. Yeah, it you happens. You know what I mean? It yeah. does happen. So you're not dating? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who said that? I, I don't know. I'm just asking. Oh, yeah, I was, no. I, was just, okay, I right. mean, dating is great. Right. I only started dating, okay, a year ago mm -hmm. uh, nice. at, at this age, okay? Nice. Good for and, you. And, uh, as yeah. you should. Why not? Well, but I, it was weird in the beginning. Really? Yeah, it is Greg. What you yeah. do? <laughs> like, it's, well, what? it's the belt, then the zipper. That's how it works. No, I'm joking. No. <laughs> no. I, I think mean, that's like five. No. Step five. Yeah, What's right. number one? <laughs> yeah, right. right. There you go. Right. There you but go. he's a the man. Like, they, they're, the they're, they're, they're You're right. You right. know that. Yeah. You, Wait, know. you know what? I got to tell you. really, really funny. When I was really young, I had all my experiences with, when I was at, when I was 19, I was in the military, and she was an older female. And I don't even know what she saw in me. I was, you know, I was, I was a late bloomer. Mm. And so, when I was a kid, she could have been like maybe the third, I say, girlfriend I had or whatever. So I'm kissing her. She's like, whoa, slow down. Mm. She's like pushing me. Back. And I'm like, I thought I was doing the right thing. And she right. goes, no. Right, right. She goes, you don't kiss a woman like that. I mean, well, she was like a teacher, tell you the truth. Well, you were like doing what was right for you. Right. And you I were feeling what was, you were feeling, yeah, but exactly. she was letting you know She's what like, works whoa. for her. She goes, yeah, right, right. You know, you're going you're gonna to scare a woman away. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so, you know, women always have, and I always say, women always have that thing where, like, my, okay. <laughs> It's like so much that just came to mind. And so, right. like my mother, my mm -hmm. mother said to me, you always take care of a woman first. Don't ever, like you go to bed, when you guys go to bed, it's like a guy turns around and boom, boom, boom. You know, you, 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 you do what you do and you think it's all, you think your argument that you had is over with because mm. you did what you oh, did. Yeah, you know, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, absolutely. So my mother was like, no, always try to talk it out. Try and talk it out, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. and, and focus on, don't be like, normal men men are just they only care about themselves first and that's it so focus on the woman her needs first where it's really true mm -hmm. when you well, really think is. about it yeah mm -hmm. i mean through all the friends that i have and male and female guys are guys right females like you think about a, a girl that's that's when you're in school like i listen to my boy my, my, my son my young son and and they just joke around girls and it's just but then the girls their age is so much more mature, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Well, and they're he's kind of cute. Today, he's kind of cute. Oh, he's just really, really nice, and he has nice hair. And look at his eyes. Where the boys are like, oh, I want to smack her butt.' Mm -hmm. Or you know what I mean? Like, like. Mm -hmm. So boys are so much more immature, 
Well, just in general, I really think men are more immature than, than females. Mm-hmm. So it takes a long time for us to catch up. Right. You know? But, um, you know, I don't even know where the hell I went with this. No, I, yeah, I can, but, I can, but, I can, but I, can, I just, I just got so just to lost piggyback there. off. No, I'm, I'm with you. All right. I'm with you. All right. you. You didn't lose me. <laughs> I feel like women are emotionally stronger. Men are physically stronger. Right. But when they say um, a a woman, because I don't want you, you, I don't want men to think women we're more important than you. Uh, your feelings matter too. Right. But when you directly address and deal with a woman's feelings, mm-hmm. you're gonna your life is gonna be amazing because Yes, that's true. Because right. we're nurturers. So right. that's yes. an investment. Right. right. If you take Learn care of a woman I, and her feelings woman, are and she that's yeah. it. You're, that's oh, it. you're done. Yeah, that's exactly. It. You're you know done. what yeah, I mean? I so, relate to yeah, that. It's true. No, no, no. I, yeah, but if me. you ignore our feelings and act like we don't have any, it's not there's no bullshit. Yeah, exactly. And there's no wanting to to please the other person. You know? It's it's you know what? I always say to appreci- appreciate a woman. It doesn't matter. Even if it's she's doing the dishes, you come behind and give her a kiss, say, you know, Absolutely. thanks. You know what I mean? It's a literally it That's have foreplay. To be because, right. You right. really no, want no, it to be hot in the no, bedroom? You do true. stuff That's like right. that. Uh, you know what I mean? Right. That right. starts from then. You're yeah. right. It's true. I mean, it's like, but then you see a guy doing the dishes and whatever, you don't see the female coming up most of the time. Oh, I mean, really? there are. It depends, you see the on, the going around it going, depends on the female. Baby, really, yeah, I, listen, I didn't say it doesn't happen. But yes. You don't even see stories about that part. Mm. Right? You don't. <laughs> you see the guy coming up next minute. You watch every TikTok thing. The girl's doing the whatever, the dishes, and the guy's <laughs> sitting out there looking at them like, damn, right? But you never see any TikTok things of guys doing the dishes. And even if he looks good, unless he has, unless he doesn't have a shirt on or something. You know what? You know no, what that's what an you idea. I'm going to create something there like you go. that. That's it. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. Right. You know, so, and I don't know. It's just, yeah, I always say appreciate, appreciate the woman, and, and she should be able to even love you that much more. And and the thing is you that know. we we do take things for granted. We Absolutely. do because you know what, you know she's the backbone. She's there. She take care of the kids. She take care of the food, whatever it is. So you don't you don't even realize. You come home, you're tired, having a shower, whatever it is. You come and eat, blah blah blah, whatever. You talk just for a second, and, you know you really don't like. How's your day? Especially you when know, you have stuck children. With kids. I'm just saying, you know say when you have children too. Mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. the worst. Children thing where, is hard because the mother know? gets stuck at home with everything. Well, not anymore. They're out working, but. You know, it's still up to the mother all day long. Father comes home and then starts, you know, yes. right. squawking a little. Right, right. I got to give it before we continue. I got to yes. give it a, a quick little uh, shout out. Susan, we miss you, honey. Susan Pinky, we miss you. We miss you. I hope you're feeling well. All right, it's not like it. Look, look, look at what I'm drinking. No coffee okay? today, Susan. No coffee, no chai wine. tea. This is not good, all right? <laughs> this is not a good start for me. Uh, Ed Shin, what's up, photographer of the stars? Buddy, I'm going to see you on the 26th when we have a, a, a Power 78.7 launch. The second launch is going to be here at G's. And Francis, how are you, hon? Lucia, Lucia, how are you, honey? I'm glad that you're watching. Undercover. Gloria, Gloria, Gloria. We love you, love you, love you. Hannah, assalamu alaikum. How are you? Miss you. Uh, we have Jenny A, Jenny C, uh, Sava. We have Kathy. How are you, Kathy? Gloria, 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 Gloria. How are you, sweetie? Ra- Ashley, hey, what's going on, Ashley? Robin, 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 how are you, hon? Uh, I got surprised with all these people watching today. Eddie Sessa, the dude is just amazing. How are you, buddy? Yeah. I miss you. MDW, which is, th- there's there's four DJs for Power 78.7, and these guys are just amazing. Yeah, Mike well, Torres, I love you. Them. Benny, you know, DJ Benny, Benny's he's another amazing guy, which he's going to be performing on the 19th on Friday. And you definitely have to come see him. And Cliff Hernandez, how are you, buddy? Cutie. And yeah, he's a cutie. A cutie. Every, everybody loves him. Yeah, he and, is. Um, he's a cutie. <laughs> look, everybody, MDW, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> of course, it would be you, MD, always. And Johnny, uh, Johnny, 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 where are you, Johnny? Oh, Phil, what's going on, Phil? Uh, we have Johnny, Johnny. I, I just don't want to miss you, Johnny. I know you're here somewhere here. here. Justin, I'm sorry, Justin Cannon. And Johnny, how are you, buddy? So just giving a quick shout out. I know I probably f- forgot a couple of people, but if I did, I'll get so back to you. So it's nice when we have our listeners watching. Yeah. So let's talk about, let's hear about a song. I mean, I, I, I heard oh, I some got, of Okay, I heard can I say something them. real quick? Because I'm, I'm yes, focused. Yes, please. Give a shout out. You I got a shout to, out. You got to give wait, shout out. I wanted to ask you, because I think that's a really good point that a lot of women may not know what a man wants or the fact that a man may want that too and not be the only one to do that. Sometimes okay. you want it back. So I think I think if you could like just let the women know. Okay. You know what? what? When we come home. All right. Now 
It's not sexual. Look at this. See what she went already? <laughs> She's like, as soon as you walk through the house, you, you like, like the belt zipper. No, listen, don't get me wrong. That never hurts. Don't get me wrong. That surprises. You know what? Surprise the man. That's one. Mm -hmm. Just like the man should appreciate you, surprise you. Like, say, if they bring you home flowers, you, well, you know what? You want to feel appreciated you know somehow, what? too. I'm tired. Yes. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I agree I'm with working. that. I'm working. Just mm -hmm. like, you know what? It's not easy. I know what it's like to, to stay home and take care of kids when I was sick. Mm -hmm. And I, that's when you really appreciate, oh, my God, how did you guys do it? Mm -hmm. Kids are crying. You just finished feeding them, and they were babies, infants, whatever. And, but appreciate the guy also. If he comes home, you know, when he comes home, I don't care. I didn't say you have to grab his briefcase or... I mean, it is sweet that you put his slippers on, but <laughs> walk up to him. Just give him a big hit. You know uh, what? The thing is that you guys forget things. Listen, I, and I mean, and it's both. You could remember when you first started dating a guy. Mm -hmm. You didn't care if he was on a skateboard, if he rode a bicycle, if he took the bus, the train. You were just happy to see each other. Mm -hmm. When he had a car or you had a car, what mm -hmm. did you guys do? You had the radio on for hours and you're sitting in the car looking mm -hmm. at each other. You're kissing, you're making out, you're, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. touchy-feely, whatever. That excitement. Or when you're driving, even, t like I said, I'm an affectionate guy. Affection is very big for me. Gotcha. I don't come from that. My family's not affectionate. I'm the only one. That they, you don't even know where I come from. Mm. <laughs> so, but that's just me. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Just to sit there and just rub somebody's shoulders, whatever it is. I didn't say you have to, a routine thing, because routines get played out. Mm -hmm. Do mm -hmm. Try to do Different. Different things. And right. it doesn't necessarily have to be a sexual thing. Mm -hmm. Of course, you always see a male dog running on top of a female dog. You don't see a female dog running on a, under. I mean, right. there are out there, but. Right, right, right. Um, just, just do different things. Just appreciate him also. Say, baby, you know what? You look like you really had a hard day. You know what? Just say, you know what? I just want to say thank you. Just, just say thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Give him a hug. Well, that means Say a lot. thank you so mm -hmm. much. It does. You know, for right yeah. now, giving us a life. And it, it doesn't have to be a lavish life. Maybe that's the best life that he could provide, but he's trying. Because right. exactly. no man wants to just give you a eh life. Because right. he doesn't want an eh life. Right. You know, sure. he wants. Absolutely. He would love to have that, say, a, 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 a musician's life where the pool and, and the house and the infinity pool looking like it's going into the. Everybody has their dreams and hopes and stuff. But you know what? The guy's working really hard. And I don't care where you work, I don't care what you do. Mm -hmm. And you're working at McDonald's. I remember I. I I used an excuse years back before I was married. I went to a club. I was I remember I just got my Mercedes, a little Mercedes, and I was so proud. I worked really, really hard. And I pull up to the club, and there was a big line. But I knew, because I, I used to work in clubs, so mm -hmm. I knew the guys, the bouncers. So all of a sudden, you know, they have all the women outside. They see the cars they pull up to. So all of a sudden, I get out. My boy gets out. I walk in to see my boy. say, what's up, blah, blah, blah. I walk downstairs. We're at the club. We're drinking. All of a sudden, two girls started talking to us. And then the girl asked me, what do I do? So I turned around and I said, I work at McDonald's. <laughs> so I started laughing at me. Now, my friend's son worked at McDonald's and I asked him, can I borrow your shirt? And I did it to prove a point to my friend because I knew somebody eventually was going to ask me, but he didn't need it. Interesting. So mm -hmm. I had it in the back of the trunk. I think I had it for like a month. He didn't need it anyway. Mm -hmm. So I remember the girl walks out with us and she says, stop. I said, yeah. I said, you know, my dream is to work at McDonald's. I said, I'm a, I'm a chef right now. I flip the burgers now, but, and right from there, then I'm going to be assistant manager. <laughs> and then once I become assistant manager, Coming then to I'll America. be manager. Yeah, and I said, and then, you know what? My future dream is, and I said, I'll be hopefully a district manager. Mm. And then I could be North. And I said, so mm -hmm. I, I gave her this gave whole thing, and she mm -hmm. sat there. She was looking at me, looking at me, looking at me. She's drinking. And then after we walked outside, and she said to me, can you drive me to my car? And I was with my buddy. Mm -hmm. And the car was right in the same parking lot. But, and I turned around and I said, before I drive, now he pulled up the car. Mm -hmm. She got into the car, drove it to the thing. And I, I said, listen, you don't believe me, but I popped my trunk open. I just held the, 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 the shirt and I said, I work at McDonald's. And you know what she did? She what looked at me and she got out of the car. I never saw her. She never spoke to me again, but she got in the car and left. Mm -hmm. Well, that's You know what? Mm -hmm. If that was my dream, mm -hmm. like one of my friends' mm -hmm. dream I'm talking about, mm -hmm. now he has like 20 McDonald's. Right. And he's like a regional district, whatever. Mm -hmm. And the guy makes right, over right, a million right. a year. Sure. Mm -hmm. So you know what? That, like that right then and there just made me think of, you know, and, and women say, first time you marry for love, second time you marry for money. Well, you know what? I well, don't want you marrying I, I, I have something different. No, no. You're, you, I'm, no, I'm glad I, that you I, are. No, I, I, what you're saying, right. because I get, I agree with everything that you're saying, but... You know, sometimes it's it's not about love. 
and it's not about money, it's about purpose. Mm -hmm. right? right? So sometimes... Yeah, sometimes if you have a purpose together. Uh, exactly. So sometimes, like... But you gotta love that. That woman mm -hmm. might not... That woman might not have... And I feel you, because I would... You, like, why would you want right. to not talk to someone because of what they right, did, exactly. right? right? But I would have explained to you, that's cool, I'd support however I can, but what I'm looking for, <clears> like, sometimes people know what they want to do, and they want to partner in that. Right. right. Whether it's ministry yes. whether it's you want to you don't want to do a mcdonald's but you want to do a gym because you're right. you're healthy right. and what if she was thinking well mcdonald's food is mcdonald's food i don't want to be around that it's not <laughs> healthy said, I, but, but if we were talking about it. doing a gym <laughs> maybe we could start a gym together no, 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 no. you know what i'm saying <laughs> No, no, you know, no, because no, I'm right. like, do I right. want to live okay. that lifestyle right, right, right. of hearing McDonald's <laughs> yeah. all day long and smelling it? Like it. Ugh, you know what I mean? But you know what? Though, listen, so it so might bad. not be the, right. about the money. Right. It's no, bigger not, than everything. No, is bigger you. than money. But, 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 but wait a second. You know what I mean? But the guy turned around and said, "That's my hopes and dreams. Right. I want to be that district, divisional, whatever. Oh yeah. So you know what? It's like in here. Right. I'm in here. But then I was supposed to, you know, if you're in love, some people don't. Some people don't know who I am. Right. Mm -hmm. He's the, I mean, you know, I, listen, I know, not, like, don't get me wrong, I know 90, 95% of the people that come here. Mm -hmm. But when I'm in here, I say hello to everybody. Right. Okay? Hi, my name is Greg. How you doing? Is everything okay? Whatever. Mm -hmm. And some women turn around and look at me like, and then all of a sudden they hear, that's the owner. Then they're like, oh, it changes. So you know what? Mm -hmm. See that? I don't like. Right. Absolutely. You know what? I didn't ask you to marry me, bear my right. kids. Mm -hmm. Okay? I just said hello to you. Right. And already you got attitude. Right. And now that attitude just changed. It that. just changed. I, so you know what? So this is what you see. I get it. And mm -hmm. that's all. Just from so mm -hmm. if a guy's turning around and you see a guy my age and I turn around and I, I show you a Walmart. Right. You know, thing telling you I just work at Walmart, I've been there, I live with my mother. Right. You know, I live with my mom, I've been there right. for like forty five years. Mm -hmm. Like you're gonna be like mm. get to know it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm honestly, we're being know. honest. Yeah. Even though he could have been a hard worker, he's got a, a pension after 35 years, but that's not what you look at. You mm -hmm. know that. Mm -hmm. You know that. Like, and don't say he could look good. You'd be like, okay, but that looks only gonna last so long. But right. you know, there were women you know? and then there were women's women. Mm -hmm. The women's women are the people that care, divulge, give, you know, try to find out more about the person. Right. The other women are the women. I'm sorry to say what they are, but there's two Gold types. diggers. You can say gold diggers. Yeah. You can say that. It's so. no big deal. But and, it, and it's true though. Yeah. So, I mean, but but then also you got guys that are that, that want to try and find an older woman. Because that, they, they want they, to they, be taken they care want, of. Yeah, they want right. that mommy. They either have mommy issues or they just or they do want to be taken care of. They and, they want people to pay it, all their just, bills. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I mean, you have it on both, but it's more common right. because you hear, you know, guys. What do they do when you get older? You know, like I always promise, like my three friends when we were kids, you know, we see that that little short guy, right, bald. Ugly as hell driving a beautiful Porsche. Mm -hmm. And we were like, you know what? Let's promise ourselves that we're not going to wait till we're really old. To do that. To do that. Right, to do I that. like And it. you know what? Mm -hmm. So, all right, we, we had our cars, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, so now, one thing I'll never be called, I'm, I'm tall, so I'll never be called a little old man. So. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's a good thing. Well, you don't know. I think don't you shrink? I mean, no, don't no, you, you start shrinking right, after certain age? I'm six four. I'll shrink the shrink. shrink. I'm gonna shrink the six two. Let's say, okay? Yeah, no. Uh, you know, so. But uh, let's hear some music. A little bit. A little cup of cap. What is it called? Cap. cap family affair. Yes. Oh, acapella. acapella. That's what you're saying? Acapella. She was trying to say that. Yeah, acapella. She was trying to say that. Acapella. But she doesn't have a leopard. I had a drink. That, yeah, yeah, she look. She look. <laughs> but she, she does look. You do look nice without. You do. You were you look, hiding yourself without. Yeah, that. yeah, that's it. Look at that. Um, look at the I'm cleavage right there. Back on no, no, no. You look beautiful. Picture. Look at her. But anyway, See, you see what let's. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, so family affair. I'll do a little bit of that because that's, that's a piece that I wrote. Um, we all came together and wrote the um hook together, but I did the second verse. Rashid giving you a shout out. Which. Oh, say that again? Rashid. Oh, got it. Rashid got it, got Ali. It. Hey, Rashid. <laughs> um, so I guess that can segue into the event yes. that we're doing here on yes. Sundays, April 3rd. I want it to be a family affair. A family affair. I want to bring affair. everyone together, black, white, everything in between. I want it to be a diverse, fun, creative um, event where we can come and network and be creative, exchange business cards and have fun while doing it. So, um, it's only gonna be about a matter of time before you get loose and start to lose your mind. Cop you a drink, go ahead and rock your eyes cause we're celebrating no more drama. 
in our life. <laughs> With like the Dre track pumping, everybody's jumping. Go ahead and twist your back and get your bodies bumping. I told you, leave your situations at the door. So grab somebody and get your ass on the dance floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're killing me, baby. Wow, You're killing great. me. I love it. Oh, my God, gave me goosebumps. Yeah, <laughs> you know. That's see, what I want to do look, on Sunday. See, you know what? But then he's used to it. See, you, like right now, if I had someone that could sing, sing to me. That's all. Got it. You know what? Got lullaby it, got me. It. Lullaby Do something. Me. Right. Because with, with something like that, I mean, that with a voice beautiful. like that, it's no wow. joke. So. Thank you. Boy, April 3rd, wow. we're going to be having some yeah, hot man. afternoon here. Yeah. It's going to be called, did you Whoa. say something about sipping? Sip and sing. Sip and, and sing. sing. Instead right. of sip Instead and paint, paint sip we're going to paint what our voices. That's it. Right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Is there a dress code? Um, wait, wait. Look great. Say, thank you. Just don't Come wear, in here just don't wear leopard. Just, <laughs> just don't wear leopard. Don't wear a leopard. <laughs> Be amazing. Uh, you don't know. be. That costs a lot don't of money. Wear don't you I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I paid a lot of money. You wear something like this, you're not coming in the door. <laughs> this is very popular. Yeah, right it's here. popular. Yeah, you know it's popular. Leopard is back? He doesn't yeah. want you to cover up. Thank you. Yeah. You, you, yeah. you, you. The, I, I love your your shirt yeah, with the I love pearls. Your shirt. Oh, <laughs> that looks great. I love your. Ears. I like it. Oh, I love your hair. Oh, Honestly, that was a distraction to how you're looking right now. But I do yes, like leopard. Yes, I do like leopard. She likes leopard. There yeah, you go. Right. But, but, but that's okay. Look, it's, she likes leopard. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I will <laughs> wear it on April just, 3rd. Just, yeah, yeah, you're not wearing that. You're not coming in. <laughs> so that's great. Yeah. And uh, so it's going to be something special. No, it's going to be really It's going to be different. great. It's going to be yeah, yeah, It's definitely, definitely. going to be something different. Definitely different. Um, so wait a second. Yeah. You, you're definitely going to be singing now. Yeah. I mean, I'll sing. Of course. No, no, yeah. Yeah. You have to sing. What about sis? Oh, yeah. She's coming in. She's singing. Sis is off the charts. That's sis. your sister, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. She's off the charts. Yes. She's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, it she will be her birthday. Shout out to Amina. Amina. Happy Amina. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, baby. Yeah, she'll birthday. be celebrating her birthday That's right. that night. So we'll be yeah. in here. Oh, wow. Popping bottles. It's going to be I hope, you, I hope you stop. <laughs> I said, I will be. Don't you worry. I will be. I will be. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. It'll yeah. Be fun. That's for sure. So um, we're going to get, you know, start getting those invites out and mm -hmm. getting the, it out there on the, on the, uh, the you voice know, is out on you it. You know what yeah. I always kind of, when, when you're at the studio. Now, I've been to studios before. Mm -hmm. And I think that's like the best, the best thing in the whole entire world. And it's a different story when you're, when you're, you're there watching, a, say, a, a celebrity, I don't care, whatever, mm -hmm. doing, their, doing their arts. Mm -hmm. I just remember going there when there was one time I was helping some girl, you know, sing and create a CD. Mm. And just watching it, and then just watching it, everything it's just like put magic. together. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's and you, to you, it's like a walk in the park. It's just natural. But you a know? walk in the park is amazing. Yeah. That doesn't happen too often like yeah. now. You know, who who takes their woman on a walk in the park? That's and another you, thing. You know, but a walk in the park. I say peaceful, drag her like so yeah. this in the park. No, I'm joking. <laughs> a walk in the park isn't you know a hop, skip, and a jump. They take you me know, to a drive, still, and then yeah. they, we go to the park. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, 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 there you go. Yeah, see, look, look. My daughter took us to the Hampton, all the way out to Southampton once, me and my best friend. And we stayed in the car. She goes, do you want to go up and see the lighthouse? No, nah, we'll just stay in the car. Joe, 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 what's up, buddy? How you doing? <laughs> you didn't want to go up to see the lighthouse? Well, you know, we're, we're OK. Yeah. So she drove us all around I hear Hampton. you, because I'm scared of heights. I would have I would have been good from the car. Nah, you know what? I mean, it's, it's, it's really, really nice. It really, really is. Yeah. Well, but she made a real comedy out of it. Right. Oh, I took my mother and my godmother, and she would say everywhere we went, but they stayed in the car. Mm. She made yeah. a little thing out of it. It was yeah. very funny. She's yeah. great. She's great. Yeah. So, uh, so what's, your next, what's your next venture? Um, well, I'm working, I'm working on some things. Are you? Really? I actually have a, um, working on a podcast. I have a team of podcasts. We, we, we are called Musical Cheers. Nice. Um, so they will be here. Um, oh. and, um, you know, we're going to be interviewing, uh, legends, celebrities. And, um, the goal is to pretty much, we have this game called Truth or Drink. But right. sometimes, you know. As a celebrity, you want to come out right. and you want to sell your music and you want that to be the thing. But people want to know, like, who are you? Yeah, what's, exactly. what's your story? Right, right. And so we, we kind of want to have them sip on whatever their favorite drink is and get them nice and relaxed and comfortable. We want people to feel comfortable so that they right. can share their experience. I'm all about and stories. You know, and you know this opens up the mind. Oh, it yeah. opens it up. Like yeah. my father always said, you want to know the truth of somebody? Let them drink. Yeah. Because you'll see true. the true colors of the person. Mm -hmm. it, it really is. Because when they drink subconsciously, 
that takes over. Yes. You know what I mean? And but that's the whole point they, of they, yeah, wine, they, they, to they relax like, oh, you for great so, conversation. That's yeah, what wine but, is about. But, but yes, sometimes absolutely. that conversation isn't that great, though. <laughs> okay? It depends that's on what the we're drink. They right? probably had a it shot of, who of, you of, have of a, you know, Bacardi or something. Drink they had a shot. You know? You, know, but <laughs> you get a little nervous. You're like, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, you've seen a lot. Listen, I always say everybody has, you know, you have a good dog and you have a bad dog in you. And it just depends on which one you feed more. Right. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, I think, but did you did you say everyone? Yeah. I think everyone, yeah. Every, I always everyone, say that. Everyone, everyone has a good side and a everyone. bad side. Yeah. It's like it's the good and the bad everyone. wish. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. the good wish. Right. But there are a lot of bad wishes. But Absolutely. you know what? Because people but, don't know how to but, tap but into second, their, you know. It's a witch, though. It's okay. easier. It's Listen, a witch. It's easier to get things when <laughs> yeah. you're on your bad side. Right. Yeah. Well, but being yeah. on your greater side, it's more work. You get more but with it, sugar. But you get, but it's but it's greater. You get more When you sugar. put that work yeah. in, it's yeah, amazing. I just right. saw you know? Wicked, and I didn't understand it at first. Mm. But once I got through the back of the play, I did. It was fantastic. Yeah. And really, it was about two people that really were very close, yet they were different sides to them. Mm. Yeah. But how many times a week? That's like you. Yeah. You, uh, seriously, I mean, this is Sybil. I mean, not, I mean, Sybil had a whole bunch of personality. Sybil. Well, Sybil, when they call somebody Sybil, it's like when they say a Karen or they say mm. a, a, a yeah. Felicia. I mean, like, there's always a saying, but Sybil, she had a lot of different personalities. So you just didn't know what you were getting sometimes. Right, 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 right. She's great, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Next minute, she's wearing leopard. Mm -hmm. right? Next minute, she's screaming at you. Mm -hmm. Next minute, she's so kind early in the morning. Sounds like okay. an animal. No, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> wild animal. So, no, no, but I, not. she's not simple. No, but but it's mm -hmm. true. You see the way well, people, people are. Change, right? I mean, Absolutely. men the same way. Absolutely. And you know, What's when up, you go, Denise? I love you, you, baby. go through some shit, um, you get a little mean for a while until you right. get out of it. Right. You know, if somebody really wants to come down on you and give you a hard time, you're going to kick it, kick them in the butt. But well, then me, you, 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 you go beyond that, and you're like, you know what? This is Life is great. Forget about it. It's easier said than done. Let me tell you that something. That is so easy okay, said so now than I, done. Now, now, just to touch on the book, you know, I, I, I want to talk about the book for a minute, and I want to talk about purpose. My main purpose of writing the second book is because I realized after after what I went through writing the first book and now I'm in the second book purpose we are all born into a lost world so nobody is born knowing everything right so our job here and this is from my perspective right of course this is what I what I realized our job here on earth is to become our greater side mm -hmm. as much as possible because we're born in a lost, we're born sinners, right? right we're born right, into yes, a right. lost world, right? So if somebody hurts you or if something happens and you're going through something, it's really not that person's fault because they don't know better. Right. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So our, our, there's a lesson in that. We're supposed to learn from what hurt us. Maybe we can't point the fingers at them. Maybe we should say we tried to make them a friend and keep them here but maybe that person felt like we were chopping their wings yeah, right, off right, and they right, want right, to go fly. Right, right. So there's a lesson in that. Mm -hmm. And when we take, when we're accountable for our own actions and we don't blame everything on everybody, oh, you hurt me, I thought, that's our own vision. Mm -hmm. But what if that person had, has a whole different purpose? What if God wants them to just right. fly here and fly there and right. fly there and just, and we want to keep it that's because right, yeah. you, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah, we yeah, want to yeah, hold yeah, on yeah, and sometimes right. it's time to let go. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's so, right. you know, like sometimes your kids grow up, you don't want to let them. Oh, go, yeah, you know even I mean? with the so, kids, yeah, even so with the kids. Yeah, kids you know, it is yeah. what it is. You know? And I tell it's, it's you hard, do the best but you I can see my purpose is, is to make people happy. That's absolutely. my purpose, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I don't care, whatever. I, I, I make people happy, and mm -hmm. that's what I want. But and you absolutely. know, and then people hate me because I am the way I am. That's and ridiculous. why do you hate you? No, I'm gonna tell you why they hate you, right? They're jealous, they wish they could do. Well, there is a lot of jealousy. So that's what I was gonna say. They hate you because you can't make anyone happy. Right. Happiness, they have right. to they have within to make themselves, themselves right. happy. Right. Themselves and right. you're trying so yeah. hard and you're this that's energy it. that's amazing that's right. and you're happy and they're looking at you like, Why is he so yeah, happy? Exactly. And I don't even right. know how to do right. it. Yeah, right. well that's right. true. Oh, that's 100%. a lot of jealousy. 100%. That's, that's yeah. I but mean, that jealousy comes that, from yeah. not owning yeah, that right. jealousy comes from it you know, again, because you're a happy person, right. you can't expect to go around somebody else and make them happy. Right. I I'll give you this and I'll give you that because if they're not doing the work themselves, and Instead you gotta of, do the work. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what I always tell my son, my kids? 
when somebody's yelling or screaming or calling you this and this, that's how they feel about themselves. Absolutely. So try to remember that. And I tell them Absolutely. That. So when they say something silly to you, just remember, just look at them and say, yeah. that's how you feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. So you're just lashing out. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I try to explain mm -hmm. it to my, I mean, but it's hard when you're kids, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. got to give a quick shout out, Kathy. Kathy, I got to tell you, Kathy Williams for Paparazzi Jewelry. I'm giving you a big shout out. Anybody wants Paparazzi, uh, Paparazzi Jewelry, you got to go on Facebook, look her up. She's phenomenal. Uh, Denise, I'll see you when you come back from Florida. I miss you. Say hi to the hubby. Francis, thank you so much. And wait, wait, what did, what did uh, MD say? We as men must validate women's feelings. You're absolutely Whoa, correct. Whoa, like that. Okay. Right. He's always Somebody got, he's always got, he's, always right. got he's something. He's a great guy. So yeah, how do really they buy is. your book? So Yeah, how do we, how do they? Can I, can I say something? The, yes, the yes. word validate. I don't know if, if it's validate, but listen. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Listen to understand, not listen to fight back. Not listen right. to say no. You know what right. I mean? Yes. Right. Validation is is cool. I don't know if I like the like word the words, validation. Well, but you know, but it's the way you act you know? in the validation. Right. But it's, it's how you it's, act. It's, um, well, I it's, say appreciate. Um, what's, what's the I word that I... I like yeah, appreciate. appreciate. I or, appreciate. Yeah, just um, acknowledge. Acknowledge and, yeah. that. And, you know, present, presents try. work. You know, I mean? you know, nice presents work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see, look, there you go. There you go. There's gold digger right here. Voila. No, All right, listen, you know what? It's it's about that time. Flowers work? It's about that time. No. Flowers in life. So how do they buy your book, honey? <laughs> okay, I am on. I'm on um, Amazon, of course, um, Barnes and Noble, um, and actually, a books a million. It's on a oh, lot you of did, um, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. a lot, of, on a lot of online bookstores are picking any, it up. You know, yeah, and so, contact yeah. us. Yeah, and then I'll have I'll have them here. Yes, on we'll April third, alongside with Valentina. April 3rd. Yes, I'll so be doing right. my book books too. Out. Yeah, we'll be doing. Thank you for inviting me to join you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And guess where you're going with whoever, your best friend, your buddy, back to Tranquility. Oh, my God. You're going oh to get the bargain. I appreciate it right now. You're getting the bargain you're, price you're, you're, because you're, you're going as part of the show. Thank you. And then you. you have some great gel for your hair and some lipstick to keep your uh, lips nice and moist. Thank you. Now there you don't want that. <laughs> Give her the stuff. It's all good stuff. You don't even know that girl. You don't even know that girl. Listen, I wanted to listen. I wanted to thank you so much. I want to thank you so much. It's all about the charge. Thank you. Thank you, G. Thank you. And you'll stop. Come on. You know that. Looking forward to April 3rd here at G's. Yes. We're going to have a nice Sunday afternoon. Sip and sing. MC, sip yes. and play guitar, instruments, yes. whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. It's it's just like an open mic, so Absolutely. people need to understand that. You can come here and, and show your arts. I mean, you know what? Even if you want to draw something, and you're you're an artist, and you want to just draw something in two seconds, this is the place to be on April that's 3rd. That's true. Absolutely. You can draw okay, me so and Greg. Yeah, that's, it's the place for creative. that's it. That's it. And no leopard <laughs> yeah. on that thing. But anyway, we want to thank our sponsors, Oral Pure Jewelers. Thank you so much. Teddy and Christine, we love you. Uh, Tranquility Spa, 700 Franklin Avenue, which is all your 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 needs to feel great in the salt cave. Yeah, I mean, everything. You know it. She went. She and went. So, so you know. Oh, I had a ball. Uh, <laughs> we got a Jackson Hewitt. I just want to say thank you so much, Prince. Mm -hmm. He's a great tax guy. And, uh, and they said, oh, Carmela's. I want to say thank you so much, Carmela's. It's, it's a great, great, great place. You have to take your loved one, your friend, take your neighbor, take your your, your animal if you want, whatever and you want. And go for Tuesday, $10 pizza. I said, said $10 pizza. That's right. That's right. And it's a really nice size pizza. It's not like a little pan pizza. All and right? Tell so, everyone the Breakfast Club sent That's you. it. So thank you so much again. And it's a wrap. <laughs>